Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. If you've been looking for a radio to keep in your car in case of an emergency, or one to give out to a young ham, then the Baofeng UV9S may be just the thing for you. I'll show you and tell you about it, and we'll see how to program it right after this. The items that come in the box, the radio, battery, battery clip, owner's manual, a mic earpiece combo, the battery charger, and for some reason, they put both a one and a quarter meter antenna and a two meter 440 antenna. Nobody knows why, several videos have pointed this out as being odd and I agree. But the reason I got this one is it also comes with an Abri tri-band antenna. If you look at the bottoms of the antenna, the one on the left side with the yellow, that is for 220. And the one with the black insert is for two meter 440 and it will say inside which frequencies they cover. There's a few menu items I like to adjust before I start programming the radio. And getting rid of that uh, voice prompt is one of them. Go to menu item one, make sure it's in 2.5K. Go to two, menu item two, make sure the power is on high. Then up to menu item number eight. And I turn the beep off. Then to 14. And you can either have the Chinese voice or you can have it off or English. I'm gonna turn it off. Then go up to menu item number 28. And this is where you go if you wanna delete a channel. You input a frequency that you no longer use or doesn't work right. You come here to delete that uh, menu item. Menu item number, menu item number 39 is if you want the Roger beep on or off, I leave it off. And if you're not happy with how the radio is working or there seems to be a glitch, you could reset the entire radio. And now I'm gonna show you how to input a frequency manually for a repeater and then I'll show you one for simplex. And then we'll also show you on Chirp how to program this. For the repeater, first thing you do, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in VFO. Right now we're in memory, you can see the memory slots right there. Click on VFO, enter your repeater. This one's gonna be 145220. Then once that's entered, you're gonna to wanna to do your offset. So you can go to menu item number 26, and then input your offset then once that is in you put in go to 25 and this is where you're going to do your shift in this case we want a minus shift after that go down to menu 13 for your PL tone this one is 103.5 And then after that, you're gonna pick the memory slot you want. And that's menu item number 27. Now if it has CH, that means there's already something in that channel. So we're gonna click on menu, go up to 15, push on menu, and you can see it wrote it on there. Escape out, go to memory. You can see we're in 15. And we'll try it out real quick. And we've got it to work. To do a simplex repeater, you wanna go back into VFO, into your frequency, 
this case 146520. Go into the menu, go back to 26. I'm going to change the offset to zero. Hit menu, then go to 25. And you're going to want your shift off. Then you're going to go to your PL tone, which is menu number 13. And take that down to, to where it says off. And then again, you're going to go over to item number menu 27 to store your channel. I'm going to store this in number two. Again, hit menu. You're programmed in. Exit out of the menu. And you can see we're in menu item number two for the national calling frequency. Now let's hook this up and show you how to program it using Chirp. Okay, now we're going to program this using Chirp. First thing you want to do is, after you open up Chirp, go to radio, download from radio, Choose your COM port. In my case, it's COM port 5. Now, even though this is a Baofeng UV9S, you're going to have to choose Radiodity, and the model will be UVRX3. Once you got that, press OK. It's going to give you this warning. If you don't ever want to see it again, click this box and hit OK, and it'll begin cloning. Now, to input a frequency, just click on whichever channel number you want, and this goes up to 127. I'm going to do national calling for this one. And because it's a simplex, there's no tone or shift or any of that. Then once you got it in, you go to the next one you want. You can make sure you're also on high as well. So it'd be 145220, which is the Clara repeater. I want tone. And then for your PL tone, pick whichever one you want. Make sure that your shift is correct for the either minus positive split or off and choose the right offset. If it's one and a quarter meter, you're looking at 1.6. F440 is 5.0 and two meters is 0.6. Once you get all the frequencies in that you want, you can go to settings, check your advanced settings. You can put in a power on message or call sign. The radio preset, I have mine set to a, uh, one of the local FM stations, 93.1. Has DTMF settings and service settings. Once you've got everything in that you want, it's all set. Click on radio again, and now you're going to upload to the radio. Again, make sure you're on the right COM port. You're going to get the warnings again. Click OK, and it'll start writing. And that's all there is to programming it manually and with Chirp. Okay, they say this radio is a 5 watt radio. Got it hooked up to a uh, meter as well as a dummy load. Let's see what we get. First, we're going to try the repeater we put in, the Clara repeater, 145220. And we're getting five watts. And let's try the emergency frequency, the national call. And we're getting about four watts. Now let's try one and a quarter meter. 
Now we're going to try the 220 and we're set to 223500 which is the national calling frequency for that one. And we're at uh, 4.40. Not too bad. Considering it only costs about $37, not too shabby of a radio. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, please check out one of these other videos. Thanks again for watching.